Come and see one of the most elegant ladies of all times. Guess who? She's the one and only Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus. According to the Christian belief, she's the most blessed person with full of grace. But our information on her is very sketchy. We do not know how she was looked like. But artists used to draw her as a young, beautiful, and graceful lady. As you see her in the famous Sistine Madonna by Raphael. Here, she looks so young and charming that some people even complain that she looks like a, a teenager mom holding a baby. But one day, a long time ago, while I was cruising around the museum, I happened to find this painting. This painting is titled The Death of Virgin, painted by an Italian artist, Caravaggio, in 1606. Here, you see, Virgin Mary has just passed away. But look at her. She does not look elegant or graceful. In fact, she looks like a fat middle-aged lady next door, except the halo off her head. Also, you can see her bare feet with no socks or shoes. Those bare feet, for some reason, make this scene look sad and lonely. In short, nothing. There is nothing graceful or splendid here. And people around the body are weeping or in deep sorrow. Those elderly men are probably the disciples who used to follow Jesus. The weeping man in the dark clothing right next to Mary, probably uh, Peter, as he is clearly distinguished from other people. And the girl below is weeping too. Anyway, in total, this painting is giving us a weird impression that the death of Mary was so heartbroken to us and the people around her. But shouldn't they be happy? Because Mary is basically the most blessed person. According to the Christian belief, people should not be that sad as she is going to be raised up to the heaven for eternal joy after the death. Hey, I'm not the only one here who would think that way. If you look at other paintings showing Mary's death, you will see what I mean. This is Assumption of Virgin by Peter Paul Rubens. This one was made about 20 years after the death of Virgin here. In this painting, Rubens is faithfully following the Christian principle on the religious painting from the church that Mary looks confident and comfortable. And the people down there are not weeping or crying. Instead, they look curious or shocked as they are eyewitnessing the miracle of Mary on her way to the heaven. Yes, this is the death or assumption of Mary in a classical way. However, Caravaggio clearly did not believe that was what really happened. And it was obvious that his religious belief did not bother him when he made this death of virgin in a different way. We do not know anything about Mary after Jesus went back to heaven. It is still remained in the area of wild guess and pure speculation. Here Caravaggio is trying to tell us what it was like to live as a woman who lost her dearest son and, and had no husband in a society about 2000 years ago. It must have been a really hard life for her to live on. Well, we have seen two different versions of same story. Which one would you like to believe? It all depends on your way to see the world. Thank you.